We've got the floor here, and then we've got the ceiling. So we'll put those to the side. But before we get on with that, that's these pots here, guys. You can see them if that focuses in. We'll take those and put them in to the floor. Push those in. Just be careful, you don't smack them, guys. That would be easy to do. Now, this piece does not want to go in. wonder if I've put the wrong piece on that side. Hey all, welcome back to the channel Witch 43 Hope you're all doing good guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm building the Millennium Fulcrum from Diagnostini, issue 26. Let me show you. Yeah, issue 26, sorry, as you can see. It's all here, sealed, not been opened as yet. I'll leave that for you guys. Now, a little bit of news and update on what's going on with this build with the Millennium Falcon from Diagnostini. If you'd have seen the vlog a couple of weeks ago, if not guys, check it out in the playlist. You would have seen me having a rant with fan arm about Dom's Charger and maybe Millennium Falcon with that fan arm. Was I gonna go with fan arm or stay with Diagnostini and buy them off an auction site? which I said is extortionate prices, guys. This, these are selling for about 80 pound, some of these issues, which is a 9.99 pound issue for 80 pounds. Quick maths, don't work out, does it? Well, anyway, a quick update, guys. They have taken the introduction offer for the Millennium Falcon build from Fanon. So basically, next coming weeks, I will have issue one and two of this build, Millennium Falcon, from Fanon. Now don't ask, I know you're asking, why ain't this been sorted then? I'm still harassing them every day and there's still no outcome. I just keep getting emails saying they're gonna sort it. I'm getting a bit aerated as you can see. Watch the vlog guys, you'll know what I'm on about. That, it's still in the pipeline at the minute guys. I've still gotta sort this out. I can't see what the problem is. If they're taking the money out for the Millennium Falcon and that is on the way to me soon, which that's the news I'm giving you guys. I've got one more issue of this, which will be next week. Issue 27. That is it for all these, what I've brought off the auction side. Yeah, I've decided if to play the game right, I'm going to be doing Millennium Falcon from issue one from Fan Arm on subscription from when I get it in the next couple of weeks. Fingers crossed. If it's anything like that, I'm not saying no more. I said enough in the vlog. Again, check it out, guys, if you want to see what I want about about Dom's charger and the Millennium Falcon from Fan Home. I mean, I'm not bad mouthing them. It's just annoying that they're not sending my goods. That's all I'm saying. Check the vlog out, guys. But yeah, here we are today. We're doing issue 26 of the Millennium Falcon build. If you're not subscribed already, guys, smash that subscribe button, smash the like button. Also, comment down below. We'd love to hear from you guys. And if you've got any issues with Fan Home or any other model companies, hopefully you haven't. This is the only issue I've had for years since I've been building. Fingers crossed it will be resolved and you'll be the first guys to know if they resolve this situation, I mean. But without further ado guys, that's enough of that. I'll give you a little bit of update, like I said I would, about what's happening with the Millennium Falcon. Let's crack on with the Millennium Falcon build from Diagnostini. Okay then guys, so we'll crack on and look through this magazine of the Star Wars Millennium build, penultimate episode guys, issue 26. I am going to Fan Home to do subscribed, starting from issue one again. So yeah, we're gonna go through all this again guys, and start from issue one of the Millennium Falcon build from Fan Home, coming soon. But for now, this is Diagnostini issue 26, 27 next week, and then Fan Home. But yeah, let's have a look through this map, boys. 
And if you want to know the issues I've been having with Fano, take a look at the blog, guys. It's in the playlist somewhere. You will find it about Dom's charger. They can take the money out for the Millennium Falcon because it's a new build, but for some reason they're not taking out for Dom's charger. Well, they've took the money out but not sent me the goods. Nightmare. I'm still on to that, guys. Hopefully Dom's charger will be back. Right, back to this build then. These are the parts we're getting in this week's issue, which many of them we're not using, but you can see we've got the hull frame, assembly jig, more hull plating, hull plating, internal details and screws. Most of that's going to be stored, I think, guys. Back to this week, though, we've only got five instructions. So this is, this is going to be a pretty quick one. So let's get these pieces first. So we've got here the rear outer panel. And then we've got the rear inner panel. Which if I remember right, that was built in the last issue, guys. Check that out if you've not already done so. We've got the forward inner panel. And then you can see how these pots was put together then before you watch this build. If you want to get off this video, guys, and watch one in the place, it's up to you. And there you go, that's the forward outer panel. And now, if I bring over this week's parts, all bagged up for you guys, all's out in front of you. Just make sure you get all your pieces out for you chuck your rubbish. Put that down for now. Here's the assembly jig. We've got a few of these now, guys. We're collecting these up which we're going to obviously need in the future. Not for this one, obviously, on the Diagnostini model, but I would have thought it's going to be very, very similar um, on the Fano model. Right, so we've got these two pieces of plastic, which I think we're going to be using today. We've got the floor here, and then we've got the ceiling. So put those to the side. But before we get on with that, we'll have a look at these. So number seven... That's the port corridor floor, which is not being used today, guys. And we've got number 10, which is the hall plate in BP26, also not being used today. And then we've got two and one, which is the hall frame and the radial stiffening rib. Again, not being used today. And we've also got some screws here and padded bits there. So let's crack on, guys, and get this build done. First of all, instruction one. It's saying take the rear outer panel and fit it, fit its lower dovetails right. So that's these parts here, guys. You can see them if that focuses in. We'll take those and put them in to the floor. Now there's a trick to do this. I think you just either push it on, if I remember right. Yeah. No glues needed at the minute, guys. It's not saying use any glue. Let me double check. No. Nope. Instruction two. It wants us to take the rear inner panel. Push those in. Just be careful. You don't snap them, guys. That would be easy to do. You don't want to do that. Just checking why there's a gap there. I wonder if we've got the right one in there, guys. Let's see. Yeah, I think we have, you know. I can't understand why there's a gap. Right, so those are those two pieces done. And now I'm going to take the forward outer panel. Apply that to there like that. Oh, it's a narrow corridor house, guys. Look at that. Very narrow. Where Chewie would be walking through. Oh, I can't do that noise. I don't know why I just did that. Sorry. <laughs> and then we'll put forward inner panel carefully just push that into place in there if it wants to go there we go of course place on the desk might be a bit easier see that's overlapping that that one surely that's the right way let's take that one out Well, that's that in. And it won't start like that. Hmm, don't agree in that one, don't, guys. Guys, 
this this is having trouble fitting let's hope i can't believe i'm saying this that fan arm look at that that does not want to fit something is not right there just don't understand that so what i want to do is try putting the roof on first the ceiling connect those parts i've got on and then see if we can fit that last piece on See if those all fit. I'd say that's looking. There's the corridor. But now this piece does not want to go in. And strange that. That's just too big. I wonder if I've put the wrong piece on that side. I might have. Silly me. See guys, I do this so you don't make the mistakes. And it always comes out in the wash. I wondered why there was a gap on the other side. <laughs> it's been an odd week, guys, but we've resolved it. Don't worry. Right. Let's put the ceiling on. Yeah, I was wondering what was going on then. Yeah, that's better. Look at that. That is it, guys. That is it for this week's issue. There we have the corridor where Chewie, Princess Leia, Skywalker went through. Love it. But yeah, that's it, guys. We've assembled the access tunnel of this week's issue 26. As I said, guys, this is the penultimate one of the Millennium Falcon build from Diagnostini, but it is coming back with fan arm, hopefully to work out. But yeah, that is it for this week's issue of the Millennium Falcon from Diagnostini. Please come back next week, guys. Right. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, share. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. That is it for this week's build of the Millennium Falcon from Diagnostini. I do hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did and you got through even a minute of it and you took time to watch this video, please give us a big juicy thumbs up. would love to get a big juicy thumbs up from you guys. It just helps the algorithm on the channel grow gets my channel growing bigger and plus my next aim my milestone is to get to 5,000 subs in the next coming days coming weeks i know we can do it guys i've got faith in you guys love you guys and all the support you've given me over the last few years to get me to 4,600 subs wow overwhelmed come on guys keep on coming if you even browse for my channel just click that subscribe button it doesn't cost a thing obviously give us a big like and share me around Share me around the world, guys. Mate, Rich43, go around the world. I don't think there's another channel doing what I'm doing at the minute with all the different subjects I'm covering on one channel. I've got a, a, a no end of things going on, guys. I've got models, motorbike rides, horses, vlogs about records, Elvis shorts. Take a look through the place, guys, if you're new to this channel. Get me spread around, really appreciate that. But yeah, for the Millennium Falcon, it's coming back next week. The last one from Diagnostini. And then keep your eyes out, guys, for when the first issue from the Millennium Falcon from Fanon comes to the channel. I know I've got to do it all again, but it's a new start, fresh start. Subscribe so I know I can get them monthly instead of just being on tendrucks, whether I can get an issue from an auction site and being charged at extortionate rates, guys. Something like 80 or 90 pounds for one issue which usually costs 9.99 quick maths it's it's not worth doing guys that's why i've gone with fanon for the millennium falcon build i just hope and pray fanon can sort this dom's charger so i can bring that back to the channel i've got hope we've always got hope guys but for now for the millennium falcon build that is it come back next time for the millennium falcon build from diagnostini see you in the next one peace